And back to Hannity, and during the spirited Republican primary this election season, Kentucky Senator Rand Paul was out on the trail campaigning for his father, Texas Congressman Ron Paul. But tonight, he is here to make a major announcement about 2012 and the presidential race. And we welcome back to the program, Kentucky Senator Rand Paul. Sir, how are you? Hey, good to see you, Sean. All right. Um, first of all, before you say what I think you're going to say, did you check in with your congressman father? presidential candidate who well, I guess officially finally uh, dropped out of the race. Well, you know, uh, my first choice had always been my father. I campaigned for him when I was 11 years old. He's still my first pick. But, you know, now that the nominating process is over, tonight I'm uh, happy to announce that I'm going to be supporting Governor Romney. Yeah. How do you, look, um, if you didn't support your father, by the way, I mean, I would really question family loyalty there. Uh, and I think it was totally understandable. And I know, you know what, you love and you respect your dad, and I agree with your dad on many issues. I have no idea why he's still mad at me, and he would reject coming on this program, but that's a whole different story for another day. How, um, tell me why you're supporting Governor Romney. Well, you know, I think it's interesting that Governor Romney and I actually have quite a few similarities. You know, Governor Romney's dad ran for president, was unsuccessful. Governor Romney then went on to support the nominee the same way his dad did. Governor Romney comes from a big family. Um, I don't know them that well, but I think it's a big, loving family. So do I. I come from a family with five kids. Governor Romney has five kids. He's had a long and happy marriage. So have my parents. I think we have a lot of the same family values and uh, trust and, and feeling uh, of the importance of the family unit. And so that, I think, uh, draws a kinship between our families. But I met with him recently. I had about a 30-minute meeting with him. He was nice enough to uh, meet with me when he was in Washington recently. And we talked about a lot of issues. It was a free-ranging discussion. And we talked about issues, frankly, that are important to me, that are important to my dad and to many of his followers. And many of these, you know, Governor Romney's already taken a position on. One of the big issues for our supporters, for myself and my dad, is auditing the Fed. We think there needs to be more transparency to the Fed and more oversight by Congress. And this is something that Governor Romney uh, was supportive of throughout his campaign and also was supportive of in private to me. We talked about other issues that are important to my dad's followers. My dad has a legion of young followers who are on the Internet, and they think they rule the Internet, and maybe they do, maybe they don't, but they're very concerned about the freedom of the Internet. There's been legislation recently, SOPA, that Governor Romney came out in the debates and was opposed to this SOPA, which would... Uh, take away some of the process of ownership on the Internet, and we were very afraid that it would limit Internet freedom, and Governor Romney's right there with us on those issues also. So I think there's a lot of kinship on those issues. Uh, another big issue for me is the RAINS Act. I'm the chief sponsor in the Senate on a, a bill that would say that any major regulation, and I think we've got so much over-regulation now, but any major rule or regulation that would cost the economy over $100 million should have to come back and be voted on in Congress. Yes. And uh, Governor Romney's right there with me on that issue. So I think we have a lot in common, a lot of things that we well, will be able to fight together on. But, Senator, two issues you didn't mention that I believe this is a choice election. And on Obamacare, there is one major difference. Uh, even on issues of spending, even though maybe you don't agree that, that for example, the Ryan plan goes fast enough. Uh, I know you support and you've signed on to the, the Mac Penny plan. I hope that goes through. Governor Romney, when I asked him about it, seemed pretty intrigued by the idea. But when it comes to fiscal responsibility, Obamacare, there are vast differences here. Do you think this country could afford five, uh, four more years of Obama? No. I mean, my state is really suffering. We stand to lose 50,000 jobs in the coal industry if President Obama continues. I think one thing that uh, Governor Romney would make as a president is he would bring a more balanced approach to regulation. We're going to have some regulation. Some regulation actually protects the environment. But President Obama's allowed the tilt and the balance to go so far that he's crushing the economy now and crushing jobs. And I think Governor Romney would have a more balanced approach to regulation. Well, energy and in general. we sorely need that. Excuse me? Yeah, energy in general, Senator. I mean, he's for all the above. He'll start drilling immediately, and he's been very clear about that. Those 50,000 jobs you mentioned in Kentucky, and we can go to West Virginia, and we can go to other places, and fracking, and all these other things. He's in support of all these things, which we all know that President Obama is not. 
Well, you know, the energy industry, the oil and gas industry, employs 9.2 million people and pays $86 million a day in taxes. And I want to encourage them to produce more oil and gas in our country. These are good American jobs. These are jobs that can't be outsourced. Energy jobs are great for our country. And I know Governor Romney will allow the Keystone Pipeline to occur. I know that he will encourage the oil and gas industry, and he won't say, oh, this is terrible that corporations make money. That's the kind of attitude that's making companies want to go overseas. We need to encourage companies right. to stay and come, come back to America, not we, leave the country. Um, you are very well loved in the Tea Party movement. Will you go out on the campaign trail for Governor Romney? Yes, and uh, I think uh, that I can be an asset in solidifying the conservative base of the party. But I also think that uh, myself, my father, and the movement that he started attracts a lot of independence also. So a lot of these young people aren't necessarily the conservative base. All right. But, you know, in my discussions with Governor Romney, I brought forward exactly what I believe, and that's that you and I have had this discussion before, that there should be checks and balances, that the right to declare war starts with the legislature, that it's important that we separate these powers. And we had a very good and, I think, honest discussion about a lot of these things. And I came away from it feeling that he will be a very responsible commander-in-chief. I don't think he'll be reckless. I don't think he'll be rash. And I think that he realizes and believes, as I do, that war is the last resort and something that we don't rush willy-nilly into. And I came away feeling that he'll have mature attitude and beliefs towards foreign policy. All right, Rand Paul, I think it's a big uh, endorsement coming from you, and uh, we'll be looking for you out on the campaign trail. And as always, thank you for being with us. Thanks, Sean. And coming up, a busy night.